Do you also want to get super high FPS in Fortnite? Let me show you exactly how I did it. These are the best competitive Fortnite settings and additional Windows tweaks to really optimize your game and get the maximum FPS possible. But real quick, comment down below where you should win a battle pass, guys. I'm giving away five of them. And all you gotta do is set me proof on my discord.gg slash Lestripes that you use my code Lestripes in the item shop. I'm going to roll it in 48 hours as well, announcing on my discord. And now I'm about to show you guys how you can make your game look exactly like mine right now in the background and make it run as good as possible. First of all, under windowed mode, you wanna use full screen, guys super important. Other than that, you're gonna have additional input delay. Solutions I'm gonna cover later on guys, but as of right now, I'm using native. V-Sync of course turned off. My frame rate limit actually isn't at 240 FPS, but 237, which is 3 FPS underneath my maximum refresh rate of my monitor, since this helps the engine of Fortnite to sync the picture better, also lowering the chances of potential stutter. For the rendering mode, of course I'm using the performance mode, which has been also updated even on AMD, so I would highly recommend it for Nvidia or AMD. Then for my graphics settings guys, brightness on 150, user interface contrast on 1x and colorblind mode still on Pro 10 set to 7. This is in my opinion the best looking one and I would highly recommend you to use this one for comp. Then for the graphics quality, you can see of course guys, I'm playing on 100% 3D resolution, viewing distance on near and textures on low. Of course, if you're struggling with FPS, I would recommend you to go down maybe to something like 70. This is still going to look decent in my opinion and give you a nice FPS increase. So therefore, of course, if you're struggling with performance, just lower that 3D res. And completely down here on the bottom guys and advanced settings, you wanna actually disable report performance stats. Then under sound, what you wanna do is scroll down a little bit and put your sound quality on low guys. That one is super important as well. And if you're struggling with FPS, of course visualized sound effects should also be turned off, but for competitive it's really broken. And these are the best competitive Fortnite settings as of right now you guys, and now I'm going to show you all the tweaks and settings on my PC to get the maximum FPS. And arguably one of the best ways to immediately improve your performance in Fortnite guys is to choose the right power plan. Especially the automotive performance mode is one which is missing on a lot of PCs by stock, so therefore I'm about to show you how to enable it. But keep in mind there are two specific options, we have automotive performance and high performance. If you are actually on a capable gaming PC, let's say something like a Ryzen 5, i5 and above, you should definitely try out the ultimate performance one. If you are on a lower to mid-end PC guys, I would recommend you to test out first of all high performance. But you definitely don't want to be on balanced or power saver, these two you want to avoid definitely. Because you're gonna have a noticeable decrease in performance in Fortnite here in Season 4. And if you don't have the ultimate performance mode available, all you gotta do is go into Windows search bar, type in the CMD, right click and run it as administrator, click yes. And then just simply go into the video description and paste in there the following comment and press enter. And after doing that, in power options now, there should be automotive performance, which you are able now to select, which is the best power plan for most PCs out there. And in my opinion, this is one of the best steps, which is going to give you the most noticeable FPS increase. Try out Gia Booster for absolutely free. It's the number one gaming VPN supporting all of your favorite games. No matter what you're playing, you can lower your ping in every single one of these. Just simply select the game which you want to play, and it's going to automatically search for the best DNS server in your near making sure that you have the least amount of ping and with the built-in packet loss protection service you're gonna have no more lag. As mentioned try it out for absolutely free with the first link in the video description. And in this next step now guys I'm about to show you the best Nvidia profile inspector settings and the best part is I'm going to give you directly a profile so that you don't have to apply all of this here by yourself. You're going to find the tool and the actual settings on my official discord.gg slash stripes in the performance packs channel. It's going to appear here completely on the bottom just the latest link. First of all we're going to need the Nvidia profile inspector as mentioned link to it as well on my discord they're gonna see the latest version is 2.404 and they're gonna get nvidia profile inspector.zip once you get that this is how it should look like and you're just simply gonna drag the nvidia profile inspector exit onto your desktop and then the folder as well you're going to find my latest profile which is gonna be called the stripes august 16 profile and all you gotta do is select actually Fortnite here on the top. It's super easy. Make sure that this here is actually green so you know that it's actually enabled properly. And then you're going to see here now import user defined profile. And then find the profile and click on the open. And now you can see profile successfully imported. And all you gotta do is click on OK. And all these settings are applied. This is a quick extra tip if you wanna get even lower input delay, but you need a pretty capable PC, guys, which is maximum pre rendered frames. What you gotta do is set this one here actually to one. This is also what I do. But keep in mind, it's gonna be a little bit more performance demanding on your PC, but for me personally this makes a huge difference in terms of input delay so therefore I apply this. If you as mentioned on a weaker PC, just simply leave it on use the 3D application settings. And then just simply click on the apply changes and then you're already good to go and you have the best Nvidia profile inspector settings for gaming. And next up guys, we're going to use two tools which I actually wrote myself to disable user services on your PC and to clear up all the cache and basically temporary files. They are completely open source, you can see directly what it all disables as well. And even though I might have a ton of subscribers you know, you 
should always be on the safe side. So of course, yeah, you can check it for yourself. There's obviously nothing in there. You can find both of them on my official discord.gg slash loose traps as well. And first of all, we're going to run this one. So right click and run as admin, click under yes. And this is then how it's going to look like. Services to be disabled. And then you have every single process and actually what it all does as well. Something like spooler services, fax, which I think no one really uses, tablet input services, and a bunch of these here. And the cool part is you can with one apply all of these here and with two revert to default setting. So if there should be something which you want to use again, just simply open it up again and click under two and it's going to revert all of them to default. But yeah, just for the video, I'm going to press it down to one and you can see all these services are being actually like stopped in the background and turned completely off. This is by the way also saving in your registry. So therefore they're permanently turned off until you actually hit that revert button. The next up, we also have the clean cache one, which is also pretty neat. Just run it as administrator. So we're going to click under run anyway and under yes. Of course, Windows doesn't like these kind of tools, but as mentioned, it's open source you can put it in whatever scan you know what i'm saying and now we have select the cache which you want to clear we have temporary files clean specific browser cache which is also pretty cool you can select even your browser and we have something like windows update cache prefetch files windows store cache windows log files memory dump files windows delivery optimization files and DirectX shader cache what i would recommend you to basically do is click on a one first of all which is going to delete all the temporary data of your pc guys like literally every single bit it's really really nice then press enter again then we have the windows update cache which i would also recommend you to just make sure that you, you know, delete it once in a while. Prefetch files, same thing, gonna do the same here. They're cleaned. And then Windows delivery optimization files, they can also be sometimes interrupted, causing issues on your PC. Therefore, they're being now completely clean here as well. And of course, guys, before every single Fortnite season, your direct shader cache, you wanna rebuild it. Now, keep in mind, when you delete your direct shader cache, the first one to two, maybe three matches are gonna be a little bit rough in terms of performance because your PC has to rebuild these direct shader cache files. They're basically there helping your game, your Fortnite, to load faster in games and all of that but especially with a brand new map it's super important actually that you delete these once in a while so therefore i just cleared everything and now you can actually close the tool here and you're good to go and last but not least guys we're going to check out a program which is actually very important guys it's called malware bytes tfue clicks and many other pros have actually been using this 24 7 on their pc making sure that there's nothing on there which could somehow slow it down or maybe even destroy your pc you know what i'm saying like there might just simply be some fishy stuff let's say if you open like a link on Twitter or whatever like that, you know, or you're just simply browsing through the internet. And we want to make sure, of course, guys, that our PC is staying like safe and all of that, you know. So therefore, Malware Bytes is a super alternative. It's free to use. The link to it is going to be in the video description. And all you got to do is head over to security and then you can see scanner. Last scanned one month ago, as mentioned, I do this like every single month, I would say, like pretty consistently every like four to six weeks. So and once we clicked on the scan, guys, now it says here, threat scan in progress, checking for updates, memory, startup items and file system and you can see already 200,000 items have been scanned which is actually really crazy and yeah there's no detection as of right now here so therefore you can see threat summary we have zero threats detected nothing in there which could somehow harm my pc or slow it down and all of that so therefore that's a great result which we want guys i would highly recommend you to do this once in a while at least once a month because you never know guys you know you might maybe click onto a picture which someone sends you on discord and that might actually be with like a link you know so therefore really do this consistently guys this is super important you don't want to get your pc destroyed or something slowing it down so therefore click under done here and you're already good to go and then you can close the tool and i would highly recommend you to just leave it on your pc since it is convenient 